In our today's tutorial, I'll be performing the food tests for our science practicals. So let us come forward and see what does the food test do. No matter what curriculum you belong to, the food test table remains the same for all curricula. We need to prepare four columns mentioning the each type of samples used in the test. In our food test, the four basic tests that we do are starch test, sugar test, protein test and fat test. So you make your first column for samples, the second column for the reagents used to test these type of food which is the iodine test used for starch, Benedict's for sugar, Burets for protein and ethanol with water for fats. After performing the practical, you can then see what observations you have seen. These observations should be written in here and then finally what do you conclude whether the presence of following uh, nutrients are there or not. So let us come forward and see how to perform our first practical for each of these food tests. So the materials required in preparing our tutorial are iodine solution with starch powder, Benedict solution with sugar powder or glucose, Burette solution with an egg as a sample, ethanol solution with the olive oil, fats test, proteins test, sugars test, starch test, distilled water flask, three normal test tubes, one boiler's tube for the sugar test because we need to do heating process. Some pipettes, you can use mini ones or the small or big ones, that's all okay. Flasks for mixing the containers, these are uh, chemicals. You can also use, uh, for example, small beakers if you're available, but I'm using the disposable plastic cups. Spirit lamp for heating, mat stick, and your some tissue. So let us come forward and see the first method, which is the starch test. We have taken the starch powder for the first test, which is the starch test. Mix it with distilled water, taken around 2 ml and put in our test tube. The next step is to take our iodine solution. Iodine solution is around orange in color or brown in color. If a substance contains starch, the brown or orange color should turn into blue black. If it still remain brown, that means there is no starch in the substance. Since we already know that the product that we are taking at the moment for testing contains starch, obviously the brown or orange color is going to turn blue black. Let us put drop by drop or all at one time. By doing this thing, you can see the color has changed completely into blue black. This shows the presence of starch. You can compare the color of original brown, blue black, this one brown versus the blue black in here. So the first test is confirmed that we contain starch. As you can see, the first step is to make the sugar solution. We have dissolved 1 teaspoon of sugar powder which is dextrose or glucose powder into distilled water and made a solution of sugar. Next step is to take our boiler's tube. Since the heating process is required, we require to take not a normal test tube, a boiler's tube. Into this boiler's tube, I will be taking again 2 ml of my solution using the help of my pipette. Or what you can do is take directly from here and pour. Next is to keep this aside and take our Benedict solution. Again, we'll be measuring uh, the same equal quantity amount of how much we have taken the sugar, it's double. If I want, I can just reduce a bit and add. I will keep adding till I find that the quantity is double of my sugar solution. We know that the color of our Benedict reagent is blue. If the particular substance contains sugar, the blue color should turn into a series of colors which is blue to green, green to yellow, yellow to orange and the final color brick red. All this color change you will observe only when it is heated. For heating process, we require a boy, uh, this one water bath but I can do direct heat also but taking too much of precautions. We have our Bunsen burner. 
or spirit lamp to which we are going to uh, heat it up. Safety is the number one purpose. Using the help of my test tube holder, I am going to try to hold the tube, gently heat it. We need to remember that the color change should happen from original color blue to green, green to yellow, yellow to orange, orange to brick red upon heating. Normal shaking should keep on going until you can find an average temperature. The minimum time to heat is 1 minute. As you can see the first color change is happening to green, suddenly from green to yellow, yellow to orange and then finally when it heats up it will turn into brick red. So we provide less heat, now at the moment it is orange turning to brick red. And here is the color brick red upon heating. This shows that the starch is, sorry, the glu glucose is present. As you can see, the third test is our proteins test. For the protein test, I am using an egg. We need to crack the egg and take the egg white. Using the help of my pipette and my normal test tube, I will be taking my egg white and pouring it in that. As we know, the egg white contains proteins. Taken around 1 ml or 1 and half in here. To this we will add little bit of distilled water just to make a thin solution. That's it. Give a nice shake. And now the solution is ready. Just like the Benedict solution, our Burette solution also is blue. Which should turn purple if it contains protein. Same amount of uh, Benedict solution, Burette solution should also be added to this. Blue. But this requires no heating. Just normal shaking. Or stirring. As you can see here, this is the blue color. When the reaction goes on, it will keep on changing the color. You will find purple or violet or lilac color going on there. You can just twist your turn your test tube also a bit, just so that you can mix it properly. If you feel that you need to add a little more of the liquid, you can add. I am just sh shaking because the egg is cold, that is why the reaction takes place a bit slow. If you want, you can invert it several times, just so that the mixing process can go faster. And then you can compare its color. As you can see, it is turning a bit bluish or why this one from blue it is turning to violet compare the original color it's different you can also compare the color of my gloves it is different so this shows that there is the presence of uh, protein into this one more shaking can also take place just so that the reaction goes faster as i told you that the egg was a bit cold that is why the reaction might go slow but here is the test for the lilac purple test which shows that there is the presence of protein. The next test and the final test is to test for the fats. In the fats test, I will take our normal test tube, add some olive oil or anything that contains fats. Around 1 ml of this. Or 2 ml we have taken. After adding the olive oil, we are supposed to add ethanol in it which is around the same quantity.
this is the double quantity we have added. After adding that, we need to fill the test tube around halfway with cold distilled water. Already the reaction you can see is happening that is turning of milky white. Close with your thumb and make a vigorous shake. If anything contains fats, it will change into white or cloudy. As you can see here, it has changed milky or cloudy. This is the proof that ethanol is these fats are present in our oil. These are the four tests that we have performed in here and we can see the lilac purple which changes with time. The fats test, starch iodine test and finally our sugar test which turned into brick red. Looking at these four things we come forward to the observation table in our board and then we can actually write down our observation or looking at what we have seen. As we know, we can just keep this aside, use it as a reference. For the starch and iodine, if anything converts into blue-black, we say iodine starch present. If the Benedict solution changes the color from blue to green, green to yellow, yellow to orange and finally to brick red, we can say that it contains sugars. Protein test. The blue color solution of the buret test reagent should turn into purple violet or lilac which says proteins present finally the fat ethanol we add ethanol the color should go into cloudy or milky white this says that fats are present we had observed all the particular stuff in each thing, which is our purple, burette, lilac in here. We also observed the blue-black color for the iodine. We also observed the cloudiness for fats. And we have observed our blue-black, this one. Color change, big red, blue to green, green to yellow, yellow to orange, and orange to finally big red, which says that there is presence of sugars. So these are the four important food tests you can use for your any science experiments and conducted safety you have to make sure at all times. Thanks for watching the video.